Hey. Hi. Let me switch this up. I'm used to this side. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. How are you, Ems? How are you? I'm good. Hi, everyone. We are like five minutes late. Exactly. One of five. Good call. Well, technical uh, difficulties. So, but we are here. So, Amber is here. Marlon, you see, it's, she's not here today. She's taking a little break. And Amber is in a hot seat. So, yeah. how have you been? Pretty good. A little busy. And now we have a toddler with a cold. So, that's difficult. But, yes. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Byron. How was your birthday? It was Byron's birthday, I think, last oh, week. Oh, right. Yeah, because he and my brother have either the same or very close birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi, Cynthia, Sharon, Fungo, Sally. Hi, Sally, Kathy. So thanks for joining us. Yes, Amber is going to decorate. Yeah. Hi, Elena, Eileen. Hola. So guys, today Amber is decorating. What are we doing? Okay, so you know, um, Mother's Day is coming up, so I thought I'd do some floral designs. And um, you know that I love the wet on wet technique, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. Excellent! Can't wait to see what you. And I have to switch the camera again. So... Okay. All right. <laughs> Very well. So I'm going to switch this. And as always, guys, so you can find uh, Ember's. Um, do you have a supply list or things that they can? Uh... Um, for this one, I didn't make a supply list today. But all of this stuff that I'm using is in my Global Belly store. OK, so the Global Belly? Yeah. So I'm using. Where are the cutters? Here they are. So the plat, these little plat cookie cutters are in my store. Those are adorable. And they're, how big are those? They're not. Um, this one's just under three inches. This nice one's size. probably like a little, you know, two and three quarters or something. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then the tipless bags and the colors are all there. Decorating tips, couplers, everything, scribe tools. So that's in the Global Belly store. Um, so let's get started. Okay. So I actually got an email recently from a longtime follower who was asking about a design that I did like this that was probably 10 or 12 years ago. Um, and I'd, oh, I never made a tutorial for it, but I just, I'd been meaning to for all these years. So I figured I would try that design again. So that's awesome. what I'm doing. So this, is, so this is you redoing something you've done. Um, a decade ago. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Do you have a picture of the, the ones that you made all those years ago, or can they see them somewhere? You don't even know where I put that. It might be <laughs> on my blog yeah. like a long time ago. Um, yeah, because it was just, you know, I kept track of things differently back then. I had, like, a different system for organizing and all that, so... It's hard to find the old stuff. Yes. And this is Amber's blog, sweetems.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use an edible ink marker first to just kind of give myself a guide for piping these flowers. So this is just going to be like a very like rough outline of where I want them to go. Did everyone have a nice Easter and Passover? I did. We didn't do much. Did yeah. you? Did, did, how was the weather? It was cold. It was pretty cold, but it was sunny. So we did an Easter egg hunt with the kids. They loved that. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so now I'm going to just outline everything in black flood consistency icing. I'm using a decorating tip too. Yes, Donald, this will be available. This is a live. 
we're doing a live streaming now so you can watch the replay after we're done um it's available through the playlist on facebook or also on youtube on our respective channels on facebook and youtube um and there is a playlist for live video, so it, it's stored there, so you can always go back and watch it there. So do you use, how do you make your black icing? It's so dark and it seems like it does, it's not bleeding. Yeah, but. this is um, Chef Master Coal Black, which is my favorite black that I use um, this one and also the Wilton color right black is really good. They don't have like a, that weird taste that you get with some black food coloring. Um, and I also make my black, like this is a, at least a few days old, this black icing that's been in the fridge. Can you, can you explain why you're doing the wet on wet this way for folks that don't know, like what, like usually when we see people Right, we do wet on wet, like where we ice everything, and then we put ice, we like let's say do the lines when we do the feathering or polka dots. Yeah. So then, what's the reasoning behind this this technique? So this one because um, the flower is so large that if I did this all in black and then tried to do such a large flower, it would just completely spill over the edge. So this is going to let me do both colors without having too much icing. So it's basically to avoid uh, icing falling off the cookie, right? Yeah. Or falling off. Um, so mommy, my, my uh, sugar cookie recipe, you can either use baking powder or you can omit if you are experiencing excessive spreading. Um, some people like it with baking powder because it just adds a bit of a different texture. So you, you can experiment on your own. I now don't use any baking powder or uh, on occasion, I will add like quarter teaspoon or something, depending. But usually, uh, now I don't use any. Oh, you don't use any at all anymore? Yeah, mo yeah, mostly not. I, I think I stopped a couple years ago. Okay, yeah. Where I, I we, we bought a new oven, and I was experiencing like some you know, just inconsistent, in, not, consist non, not consistent results. So yeah. I, I was experimenting, and um, yes. Hello, Stephanie. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. So I'm not too worried about what the icing looks like right now because I'm gonna be using my scribe tool to fix it up. Um, today I've been really lucky with this icing. Like I made these other ones this morning and I was able to work on them for like 11 or 12 minutes. Oh, really? On one cookie? Okay. Yeah, before it it crusted over. So oh, what's the consistency on this? This is um, my usual 15 to 20 second count. Uh, I don't know if it's like maybe the weather or because I don't have my fans running. It's just been behaving really well for me today. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's really, it starts... And these cookies now, they are not too, too big also. This is not That's like- That's true. Big. This is a smaller, a yeah. size, so it also helps with the wet right. on wet. Definitely helps a lot when you're doing wet on wet. So I'm just gonna add some darker colors in here. Again, not worried too much about what it looks like at this point. I just wanna get it in there. On YouTube, mommy, I have a um, um, chocolate cutout recipe, and I absolutely love for cookies. Also, I use um, recipe that is for the mini tarts. I love that recipe for cookies also because there is like literally like no spread, but it's a recipe with powdered sugar. So Byron, um, Oh, Byron wants you to make Japanese or Chinese dragon cookies. Oh, yeah, I remember that request. <laughs> Me Too is asking, do you have to mix the royal icing after being in the fridge? Yes. So it will definitely separate, especially if it's been sitting overnight or longer. 
So you will have to mix it up. That's why I don't like to store it in the bags for too long because it separates. Ooh, sorry. Um, yes. So I always keep it in the container and then mix it up by hand before I use it again. So now I'm just using my scribe tool and I'm just going to start blending these colors and give the icing a little bit more shape. So I wonder, do you guys prefer this view so you can see better or is... Um, really, I prefer this one where we're both bigger. <laughs> okay. So what, yeah, but I'm, if everybody... I prefer the other one where I'm smaller, but okay. I like to see. I think, yeah, I think this is, uh, visually, this is um, yeah. clear to see. Um, hello, everyone who is joining us. So Amber is here. Um, actually, we do have some annou announcement, right? You'll be joining us. Every, is that is that still the case? Yeah, I'm coming back. <laughs> She is coming back, so I I believe she'll be joining us every Friday. We'll be rotating. Um, yeah. So not next weekend because I think um, Mar's doing her class, right? Yes. Next Friday, Marlon is doing the class, and I will uh, mention it in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So then the following week, I'll I'll be here every Friday like the old days. <laughs> So this is a good question. Um, Denise is asking, do you, oh no, sorry, uh, here it is. Oops. Do you have to make your icing days ahead for it to not to crust? So I never really did any like experimenting with that, but it seems like that is working better for me in this case. What do you mean when, when so that you made the icing days ahead? Yeah. That it's not crusting so fast. Right, right. Oh, really? That's interesting. No idea why that would be, but it seems hmm. to be working out really well. So if you're having trouble crusting with crusting, then maybe give that a try. Like let it sit for two or three days in the fridge. You never know with royal I wonder if it has something to do because with with the you know the the crust the meringue powder has egg whites, right? I wonder if the egg whites become like the dry egg whites become more relaxed, you know, like with, with oh, the, yeah, with yeah, the, those sit, it becomes relaxed. I wonder, right. I don't know, no, just, maybe just a guess. So, Denise, yes, so uh, Amber just answered that question. Hi, Joseph, hello, welcome back, Amber. Hello from Louisiana. Okay. Oh, you guys are the cookies. What kind of cookies are you decorating? Oh, Sharon, uh, she uses pre-made black icing by uh, CK. I have, yeah, they. Um, I like their royal icing mix. That's the one that they put in our cookie kits. Yeah, see the cookie kits, exactly. But I've never, ever, I didn't even know there are uh, pre-made, like, colored icing mixes. I had, like, I'm so, because I always make it by myself, so I didn't know. Yeah. So you can see it, it's like it's a crusting over a tiny bit around the end the edges, but I'm still able to work with it. That's excellent. Mommy, we all do. We all do love her hands and nails. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Green with envy. Oh, so I I have a little paper towel here that I'm using to wipe my scribe wipe tools so I don't get um, mm -hmm. So I don't get too much black in the middle of these flowers. Hi, June. Hi, June. Oh, high heels for a shoe store. That's awesome. You're decorating high heels. Good luck with that. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. Hi, John. Sally says that you make it look so easy. <laughs> Yes, John, this is Amber. If you can tell, I think we all can tell by the nails. I think that's a dead giveaway there, the nails. Yeah, sorry, my face is off camera because I don't have a situation set up where it's like. It's it's, it's yeah. working out perfectly, I think. You know, they can see yeah. you and your, your, uh, the picture is really nice. Beautiful. Right. So Amber is today demonstrating how to do what on what technique. Um, yeah, and if you uh, want to get my recipes, you can head over to my Patreon. 
those are available there. And then I also have pre-made mixes. So if you don't want to make it from scratch, you can get the mix from my Global Belly store. So John, Marilyn is, um, she's taking a day off. We're going to be rotating. Um, Amber is coming back on a regular basis. She'll be here uh, every Friday um, from the beginning of the May, I think, right? Not next yeah. week the class. Mm -hmm. And Marlin is just enjoying her day, but she'll be back on, we'll be back uh, Tuesday. So now I'm um, using my scribe tool to just take tiny, tiny dots of icing to decorate the, the space between the flowers. Oh, Angie, so your husband always tells you that you waste too many paper towels. Now... <laughs> Um, and you want to know. Now, I actually found a, a, a solution because of Lisa of Borderland Bakery. She, I don't have it on me, but in Ikea also they sell um, these reusable, it's like a, what is the material? It's done on C, I can't remember. Um, it's used in kitchens, but I use it to wipe all, like I have it always on hand and it's damp and I can wash it. So that's yeah. how I to like because I would use like rolls and rolls and rolls right and the same thing my husband is like we I mean we gotta go broke <laughs> it's a toast. um so Lisa do you find your black color bleeds with the other colors can you you did touch up on that in the beginning yeah so this I mean I really haven't had problems with bleeding um, with this particular brand of colors. I also use like a lot of meringue powder in my royal icing, which helps with the, with the color bleed. So that's this one. And then um, I'll just show you the other two designs also, which is, which is like a different. We do have a non, non uh, question here. Where does Amber get her nails done? Um, nails are courtesy of Color Street. <laughs> but you, you do them yourself. I do them myself, yeah. Yeah, she does them herself. Yeah. So Janet has a question, question for both of you. What brand or brands of food color gels do you find using yourself more often than others and why? I use um, Chef Master and Wilton Color Right because they're super concentrated. They don't have any weird taste. Um, um, yeah. I, I use um, primarily no, I, uh, Emery Color Brand because they have such a wide range of colors. Chef Master also. And I also use some built-in colors and Pro Gel. Mm -hmm. Pro Gel I like because they have very uh, unique like color. Some of some colors like they have strawberry and they have beautiful claret color and it's very, very concentrated. Yeah. Um, but primarily it's, yeah, it's uh, Emery Colbrand and Chef Master both. But there are some colors from Wilton that I really like also. So it's, yeah. Right. Like the Wilton Delphinium Blue, like I used that for years and years and years. Um, so website is on the screen. Uh, this is Amber's website, sweetams.com. And then the cookie kits that you can purchase from both of us are on Global Belly. So if you type in Global Belly Sweet Ams, you'll um, 100% sure Amber's store will open up. And then yeah. if you type uh, Global Belly Hanyalas, my store will open up. Um, No worries, John. Sharon said it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Sal, yes. Well, we don't want any DNA anyway. <laughs> better voice paper towels than lick the tools. Yeah. Yes. It's the... Oh, that's wonderful, Joseph. Your book is almost done. Oh, great. Oh, thank you, Denise. That is so sweet. I'm glad you like the Easter bunnies. Yes, I guess they're washable microfiber paper towel. I guess that's that's what, what it's called. Okay. 
it's, it's unfortunately yes, Sally, it's because the the connection sometimes it's um, oh yeah sorry it's, yeah, it's a bit spotty so that's what's happening there it was great for about 10 minutes do you do you guys do gluten-free cookies i don't know if amber has a recipe do you have a recipe for gluten -free? um i don't but i have used like the king arthur so um, yeah, so, so they have a one to one uh, substitute ratio, and I have a recipe on the blog using that. Um, okay, they're free. They're they're mixed. It's wonderful. I yeah, and it comes like if you go into a wholesale, or I don't know where you are located, if you can actually get your hands on any kind of gluten free flour. Could you also try to do a different flour? If so, how would you suggest doing it? Like a daisy, Katie is asking. Um, yeah, I actually recently did some sunflowers using a similar technique. So I basically like flooded the cookie and then did a little dot and then did like, um, or no, I did the petals like just did dots and dragged them out into petals, I think is what I did. I don't really remember what I did for that, but. Um, you know, very similar. Let me see if this is yeah, um, a little out of, yes. So, Cynthia, it's uh, Americola brand, Chef Master. I guess I'm going to do the in order of importance for me. So, Americola <laughs> Master. Um, a Wilton and Progel colors I like for like they have certain colors they are really nice Yeah, I don't think she can uh, refocus, Kathy. I think it's um, it's yeah, Amber, it's just my uh, internet connection is just not good today. Where? Um, but I'm gonna make this question, be Trisha, I'm sorry if we if I missed it, but the questions are coming in and it's very they're just rolling in, so I don't know. Maybe can you ask again because I don't see it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, this is going to be like a full tutorial. So you'll be able to see like a more detailed, better view of this once I post that. But this connection is just... Where, where will that, that be posted? Is that going to um, be on your blog? Yeah, that, that'll be on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. But yeah, this internet thing is driving me crazy. Well, it's, 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 you know, there's not much you can do about it. I'm trying to see your question, Trisha, but I don't, I am like, I'm having a hard time. Sometimes they maybe, maybe didn't post here because we are not, I'm not on Facebook nor or am, am I on YouTube. We are using a, oh, here I see it. I think this is it. What did you use? What did you use in mixing your icing sugar to have this consistency? I, um, I guess, what did you, I guess, how did you achieve this consistency? I guess that's the question. Yeah, so it's um, confectioner sugar, meringue powder, and water, and vanilla, a little bit of salt. So you just have to, you know, add enough water that it's what we call 15 to 20 second count flood consistency. Um, and that just means when you take a scoop of icing and drop it back into the bowl, it should take between 15 and 20 seconds to be completely smooth. And that takes some trial and error to get there.
Oh yeah, Wedgwood Blue would be nice. I did Wedgwood Blue, I think, on uh, Easter bunnies years ago. That that would be also nice. Mm -hmm. Anything, right? You love Wedgwood. That's like your favorite. I know. Color. Yeah. It's like your favorite thing. Yeah, that's one of the first uh, cookies I ever made was like a Wedgwood kind of inspired design. So Sally, if you are out of black color, you know. You could make kitchen sink black. Mm -hmm. I think what Marley would say. So yeah. Katie is asking, what's your favorite type of designs to make? Both of us. She's asking both of us. So can you maybe, I'm going to guess yours, okay? Can okay. I guess yours? Well, I think it's the filigree. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It's the filigree and uh, your roses are always gorgeous. And anything with a beaded border. Mm -hmm. and gold. Yep. Um, gold yeah. and um, yeah, brush, embroidery. I think yeah, brush embroidery also. You yeah. yeah. Hi Kim, how are you? We are doing well. Jeanette is loving your cookies. Thank you. Jeanette, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. We are thinking of you, Kim. You got this. You are a warrior. Oh, yeah, that's great. Good. Happy to hear that. Yes, white gel can also help with the color bleed. Yes. It has some additives in it and stabilizers. I I have I have used it, but I do believe in resting. I think right. I mean, resting your color, allowing it to rest, and just having the pigment sit for several yes. days significantly. And then obviously after you you ice your cookies, it's a good idea to expose them to uh, like uh, circulated air, so you kind of rest faster. Right. What icing are you using today? This is royal icing. So Amber is using royal icing. Sally thinks that your middle name is filigree. <laughs> it should be. Hello, Mrs. Spiegel. Hi, Grandma. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's magical. Internet is so magical sometimes, no? When it works properly. When it works. No, I mean that your grandmother is watching, we decorating, it's magic. Yeah, no, it is really cool. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's a little fuzzy um, because of the internet connection, that's all. There is not much we can do about it at this point, guys. So I would just, um, yes, so just, just enjoy uh, what you are you know, seeing on the screen. There is not much we can do at this point. Okay, so. so how was your icing thin enough, thin enough to um, to feel so fast, but not to run out, like you know fall off the cookie? Um, that's just how it is with that fifteen to twenty second count icing. It's like the perfect consistency where it's nice and smooth, but it doesn't go off the edge. It's easy to control. Um, so you know that has a lot to do with the meringue powder in the icing, which is what kind of gives that that almost like elastic quality to it. Kim, I'm, I'm totally with you. Yes, you bought a filigree stencil because there is no way I could freehand like that. 
she's done it so many times she could uh, i remember you had shared a story that you would you would actually uh, be doing that in school and just doing little drawings all all the time that's so right it's like you know you could do it blindfolded if i i feel i would bet on it that you yeah. could do it blindfolded. and um so we have a question and um i use royal icing too but my recipe comes out too liquidy do you have a recipe for your royal icing yeah so my recipe is on it's in the shop and it's on patreon so patreon um, if you don't know what that is it's a uh, where is it? Uh, oh, you can see. So you can actually hear it is. So Ember's project. There's a lot of recipes also on uh, her in her template shop, and also uh, here is the Patreon. Patreon forward sweet ends. It's so this a platform, a subscription platform. You subscribe, yeah. and you, it's a monthly subscription. So that's where I but put you, all. But you also have a recipe on the blog, right? On sweet eggs. Um, it's like not the whole recipe, but it's just that's more of my tips and tricks kind of. Okay, course. and then the full recipe is also in in your coffee shop. Yeah. So coffee yeah. shop, it's like if you don't want to subscribe to Patreon, if you don't, or you can always make one time purchase in the coffee shop, and the link is on the screen. Do we like it with the border or without? I like them both. I mean, I like them both. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the border finishes it up. I think it's just, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's hard. It is it is a bit hard to see, you know, but I do see white, white outline. So. Oh. <laughs> oh um, I'm so annoyed with this internet. Oh, you can't see any of the, of the comments. Yes, I guess the, it, it's, yeah, it's, sometimes there are things out of our hands, really. We just have to roll with what's happening. So it's, uh, we were talking about the recipe. So why is it so runny? So it's probably runny because you had too much liquid. So try to maybe uh, scale down on the liquid. And uh, my recipe comes out thick. That's how I like it. I like it very thick. Yeah, so mine too. Charging point so I can have the thick recipe and then I can thin it down. And if I need to use it to make flowers or something like that, a thick, stiff realizing so I have it ready. Joseph, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, okay, I just like, is it Friday? <laughs> In my yeah, head. it is. <laughs> Um, so we do have some questions. Um, okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so yeah, sorry guys, if you're feeling frustrated being in blurry, but like I said, there's nothing much we can do about it. So Katie is asking if you're going to post the tutorial. Yeah. Okay. So there's going to be a tutorial as well. Okay, what we what, what did we talk? What did I say? Okay, I'm um, seriously like this week my brain is frozen. So what did I say? What do you want to see? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you said. I'm, sorry. I'm like seriously like I keep saying everyone that my my brain is frozen. So Susan, what are your preferred meringue powders powder to? What is your preferred meringue powder to use? What do you I use? use Wilton. Yeah, I'm a Wilton girl as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah and i have been for 12 plus years so i and i'm not yeah i'm i'm not switching anytime soon yeah me I, too. i've been pretty happy yes yes oh the filigree blindfolded that's what she was saying yes well yes yes he likes it with white water well if you don't like it join it join, join okay if you find it boring, there's a way to leave. Okay, so you don't have to be here. Sorry, I don't want to be rude, but this is a free free class. We do this for uh, folks. So if you don't want to be here, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Everybody's loving it. Thank you. Yes, Byron. She does make beautiful cookies always. How long will the uh, royal icing keep in the refrigerator? Um, I mean, if you're going to eat it, I would say like 10 days, two weeks, but really if you're just using it to practice like forever, 
you know, like it doesn't really ever go bad. Like it just, the consistency changes um, over time, but yeah, if you're going to eat I, it. I keep mine for four weeks in mm -hmm. the fridge. It's mm -hmm. been fine. But like, but I do agree for certain things. It's fresher, a fresher icing, like four letters and for like the icing, like the borders and mm -hmm. things like that. The fresh icing just behaves differently. Um, the, like the, the icing that has been sitting in a fridge for like for four weeks, I would probably like use to flood and not to pipe details. I find that for details, fresher icing just works better for, for me, for my, for my mm -hmm. experience. Oh yes, Sally. <laughs> no, please. Yes. Thank you. So I think we can, uh, do you have anything you would like to add today? Oh, you know what? I did want to tell everybody about the upcoming uh, cookie kits that I have. Okay. So, so for my Bankers see. Club members, um, you can subscribe and get a different cookie decorating kit every month. So this is an upcoming kit that I'm going to be um, sending out. That's I think it's going to be June's kit. So Baker's Club is at Global Valley cookie kit every month and access to my private Facebook group where you can ask me anything. And how about you? What do you have going on? I'm just working hard. <laughs> 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 new, uh, no, we I do have, uh, but it's not. It hasn't been finalized for the um, for the May subscribers uh, for the Bake Club. Um, there will be like a little free um, cookie cutter, but I haven't. Uh, we haven't figured out what cutter that is going to be, so I'm going to announce that soon. So, okay. So if you are subscribed, yes, watch out for an update. Okay, do we have any more questions? Thank you, everybody. Oh, and thank you, Alyssa. I see Alyssa's here. She's been in a few classes with me. In-person okay. classes, when I used to oh, do in-person in classes. So Denise, what brand of pedal dust do you recommend? I use Crystal Colors Dust in Luster Dust and Matte. Um, that's at sugarpaste.com. I love those. And then Wilton has good ones too for dry dusting. Yeah, yeah. They are food food uh, safe. They yeah. Are food, they are uh, FDA approved. If you, you if you are using them on cookies, that's what you want to use. So thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you enjoy the the live. We'll be back. Are we sisters? Oh, we are sisters. We are not sisters. <laughs> We've never even met in real life. We, not we, met. we 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 almost met. Almost. That was uh, March 2020. Yes, we had a big we plan. Almost, almost we had big plans with Mar. Mm -hmm. We were all gonna meet. No, it was just us, right? Or was it Mar? Oh, no, it was gonna be the three oh, of us. Mar, Mar was gonna yeah, she was gonna fly in. But the COVID happened. So and then I moved to Spain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big things. So we never met, but we we hope we will meet uh, at some point. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. How do you know? Okay, we I do have one of. How do you know if a dust is better for dry dusting or mixing with alcohol and painting? I mean, I use question. them. What? That's an excellent question. Yeah, I just use them both for dry and painting. Um. Yeah, I just do both with. You with just the mix one. it. With uh, like alcohol or something. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the like you, after it dries, can you like reuse it like with luster dust? Is it yeah. possible to scrape to kind of like you know scrape it off and put it back into the yes? Yeah, so that's what yeah. I do. Yeah, so you don't have waste. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us for today, and we will be back on Tuesday and also also I wanted to mention those of you who, who still want to join us on Friday next week Marvin is uh, having a mini class doing the live and we'll be doing uh, she'll be showing how to do this uh, beautiful um, dress cookie 
That is and so cute. And you can learn more about it, how to join, and uh, things that you need in uh, our Patreon groups. Okay, so that's happening on the 29th. So this is the schedule for next week. Let me just take this comment off. So I'm going to be decorating on 26. And uh, I think as a reminder, I will be doing uh, like a felt uh, felt texture. So that should be fun. And then on 29th is modeling class. And then from that week on, um, we will be alternating uh, Fridays with Amber. On Tuesday, it will be Marlin and I always decorating. Like one of us will be decorating. And then on Friday, Amber will join us. OK, yes. guys. So I'm going to take this off. Thank you so much. and. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.